Hi, I'm Tony Galati from Check Games Edition. Today I'm going to be talking about Trap Words, our fast-paced word-guessing game for two teams. In Trap Words, you have a clue giver, and the clue giver is trying to get their teammates to guess their secret word. However, before they get to do that, the word is given to the opposing team, and the opposing team creates traps. These traps are words that the clue giver cannot say. So the fiendish catch of the game is that while the clue giver is frantically trying to get their teammates to guess the word, they have no idea what this list of trap words are that they cannot say during the game. Now, I'm going to show you how to remotely play this game using Discord. In this video, I'm not going to teach you how to play trap words. I'm going to show you how to play the game remotely with people from all over the world. If you need a rules refresher, We've provided in the links below a copy of the rulebook as well as a how to play video for that purpose. Now, the first thing you're going to need is a host. The host is the player that is going to have a physical copy of the game as well as a camera to broadcast down to the other players. I have a couple views of my setup here. My iPad is suspended above the table, which gives us a nice top-down view of the game. But this particular setup is not necessary. Virtually any device that you own with a camera can be used to broadcast the game. There's one other thing I wanted to talk about real quick, and that's the fact that there's both hidden information as well as team dynamics in trap words. What that means is that certain players will know things others do not, and players are going to be collaborating in teams separate from each other. That can be difficult with a remote camera setup. But what we found is that Discord works really well and has certain features that really makes it work with trap words. So whether you're a pro with Discord or if this is your first time, don't worry, I'm going to walk through step by step how to set up the game. So let's get started. Okay, after you open Discord and have it running, you should see a screen like this. I'm going to zoom in and then we're gonna start by clicking the user settings gear on the bottom left. Next, you'll go to voice and video under the app settings and click. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is check your voice settings. I've already done this, but you'll need to verify that your input and output devices are correctly set for your audio. You can then check this by clicking let's check and making sure that your voice plays back correctly. After you have your audio settings correct, scroll down to the video settings. If you have more than one camera, you can select the camera showing trap words here. And non-host players will select their webcam. Then click test audio. After you've confirmed your correct camera, click the escape icon up at the top right. Now it is time to set up the server. Click the large plus icon and then click create a server. We're going to name the server TrapWords. Click Create. And now a pop-up is going to appear. This pop-up contains the link that you're going to share with other players so that they can join the game. Just click the Copy button, and then you can click the X to close the pop-up. Now we're going to create voice channels. You click the plus icon here, select voice channel, and the first one is going to be blue team. Then click create channel. We're gonna repeat that only for red team. And now everyone should be instructed to go into the general voice channel. The host is going to click their video to turn on their camera, and everyone will be able to see the trap words board. I need to mention one thing here. For the purposes of this video, I modified my camera settings so that the game would show in correct orientation. When the host is looking at their screen, they will see everything in reverse. However, the other players will still see the board as I have it shown here. At this time, players will divide into the two teams, and we recommend for the first game that the host does not play on a team until they've become familiar with how trap words is played in Discord. Now we're going to go over the first role that the host is going to perform. They will prepare the word sets. They do this by taking a word card without looking at it and placing a card in each of the books.
Now we are ready to start the game. The host will instruct all players to go into their team's respective channels because they are going to be collaborating together to create the trap lists. And then next, the host will join the blue team channel and turn on their video. The host will show everyone in the blue team channel the red team's card. Then the host will instruct everyone to join the general channel once they have completed their trap list. Remember, the number of trap words in the list must equal the number printed on the room that the opposing team occupies. So in this example, red team is in room three, so the trap word list will have three words. Players should collaborate and have someone write down the words, and you can use the trap list PDF that we've provided for you to use. The host will then go into the red team channel, turn on their video, and show the red team the blue team's card. They will repeat the instructions and then the host will go back into the general channel and turn on their video. After all of the players are back into the general channel, the first clue giver will be chosen. In this example, red team will give clues first because their team has the glowing symbol on their book. Now in this example, I'm the only one in the room, but when you click on a player's name, you can message them right here. The host will click on the clue giver's name and then message them their team's work. If the host is playing on a team, you will need to create a third voice channel for the clue givers. This will be used so that the host can show the clue giver their card without looking at it because the host won't know what the words are to message to each player. Next, the clue giver will begin giving clues and the team will try guessing each word. Remember, a team is only allowed five guesses. Normally, the guessing phase is timed, but we recommend going without a timer for the first few rounds until players are familiar with gameplay. And when ready, we recommend someone use a one minute timer on their phone unless the sand timer is easily visible in the host camera's setup. If a team successfully guesses their secret word, they advance to the next room and then repeat this process for the other team's turn. Rounds continue in this fashion throughout the course of the game and curses as well as the monster card work the same as if you were playing in person with the host revealing the cards at appropriate times and reading them out loud to the teams. I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions at all, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. We'd love to see your Trap Words games, so please tag us at Check Games on Facebook and Twitter with any pictures or video. Stay safe and keep gaming.